The treatment of SVT is usually a combination of physical straining manoeuvres, also known as vagal manoeuvres, medications or electrical therapy, which is used in severe cases where blood pressure falls or is already very low. We are going to look at vagal manoeuvres, namely carotid sinus massage and valsalva manoeuvre. For carotid sinus massage, the patient is placed in supine position with neck extended by a pillow under the shoulders. The head is turned away from the side to be massaged, allowing more ready access to the carotid artery. This has the effect of splinting or holding the artery in position. Why placed in supine position? This is to maximize chances of success due to hemodynamic changes that occur when lying flat and for safety reason. Occasionally, reversion is followed by a short cardiac pause with alteration of conscious level. First, feel the carotid artery pulsation at the angle of the mandible. Auscultate the artery to be massaged, listening for any bruit. If you are happy that there is no bruit, while monitoring ECG, apply gentle pressure with rolling side to side movements for no more than five seconds at a time. The test can be repeated on the opposite sides, but never on both sides simultaneously. There is no clear guidance as to how many times it is worth attempting carotid sinus massage. If on initial attempt on either side is unsuccessful, we would advise only attempt it twice on each side. Failing that, the next manoeuvre is the Valsalva manoeuvre. This manoeuvre was named after the 17th century Italian anatomist Antonio Valsalva, who used it to expel pus from the middle ear. It is a vagal manoeuvre, a term used to describe any physical intervention that involves stimulation of the 10th cranial nerve, which can lead to slowing down of the heart rate in the settings of an SVT. There are two kinds of Valsalva manoeuvre. One is called the standard, while the other one is the modified Valsalva manoeuvre, and we will be demonstrating both of them. The patient is placed in a semi-recumbent position, that is sitting at an angle of 45 degrees for at least one minute prior to undertaking the manoeuvre, with standard monitoring of a continuous three-lead ECG, non-invasive uh, blood pressure and oxygen saturation. So the patient here is seated in a semi-recumbent position and we will perform standardised strain by using a 50 ml syringe as shown for 15 seconds. During this time, the patient is encouraged to exhale forcibly and constantly against the resistance of the syringe plunger. The patient will remain in the seated position for 60 seconds. In the modified Valsalva maneuver, the patient will be seated at an angle of 45 degrees as before and we will perform the same standardized strain for 15 seconds. Immediately following this, they will be laid flat and their legs raised passively to a 45 degrees angle for 15 seconds. The patient will then be returned to the 45 degree semi-recumbent position for 45 seconds. You will then need to check the ECG to see if the treatment has been effective.